And we are live. But Patty, I think. Hey, everybody, can you guys hear me out there? Is there anybody on yet on our Facebook Live Wednesday workshop? Patty, can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly. You can. So we got audio, but our video is frozen on Facebook. Oh, okay. So let me, which happens sometimes if there's a bad connection somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that can happen easily. Yeah. All righty. You guys, if anybody is out there, you guys let us know that you're out there. Let us know what you're seeing on your end. Because I believe you see Frozen, I think. All right, this is our Wednesday workshop. Nobody has tuned in yet, but we'll give it a couple more minutes. No problem. Patty, if that's okay with you. Yes, it's fine. <clears throat> I just happened to uh, post it on my page, so I don't know if people are, you know, having lunch, not busy, you know, busy, so... Yeah, usually, you know, um, actually who referred you to our Wednesday Live was John D'Ambrosio. Oh, yes. And uh, and the reason he thought of you for today was because he goes, you know what? Wednesday is Valentine's Day. It's all about love. And he said, if there's any chiropractor that I know that loves more than any, that loves chiropractic and, and uses love um, throughout her whole life, it's Patty Cosmelli. That's what he said. He goes, so you need to ask her. <laughs> Oh, how sweet of him to say. Um, yes, I actually agree with that. I agree with that statement 100%. My whole life from, from childhood has, has been all about love. Well, that's really what it's all about. I mean, I think love is like, you know, I do these daily devotionals and I do a daily um, journaling every morning. Um, and one of the questions that as I walk through my journaling is like, one of the questions is, you know, what, how do you, how, what, how would you know that your success, your day was a success at the end of the day? And like 99% of the days I write down, if I feel that I went through the day with love, it's, you know, it's the highest vibrational frequency that we can have. Exactly. It is. It's, it's, it's the way to maneuver through life, even through the thick and thin of it, even when you're going through challenges. Um, we all have those. We all have setbacks. We all have moments when we feel down and things don't go exactly how we had planned them. But um, the one thing that can bring you back on course is, is actually love. And um, learning to do that, there's there's quite a bit of a, are we, are we are we actually on or are we recording or we... um i i think we're on audio but i have a feeling like our faces are stuck so why don't we just go ahead and um why don't we go ahead and dive into it and our faces by the way are stuck in a very beautiful position so it's all good oh. you look you look fantastic <laughs> oh, you're so sweet <laughs> So why don't we go ahead um, and dive into our topics? We are also going to record this as well, so that we so that we capture it and we can always repost it. But if anybody hops on live, um, then they'll catch it right now. But if they don't, if nobody hops on live, um, then uh, they'll it'll there'll be a recording for them. So you wanted to talk today about um, creating a life that you love. And so I'm going to turn the floor over to you and because I think we're kind of already getting into it and I don't want people to miss all the juicy stuff. So tell us about creating a life that you love. Well, so first of all, thank you so much for this opportunity to just share a little piece of me and my little bubble world that I live in. And it's mainly surrounded by love um, in all areas of my life. And it wasn't always the case, but I have definitely worked uh, diligently to get to this place where I am, I wake up happy. I am not just happy because I'm just happy. It's because I've really created a really, a truly amazing life 
filled with love from my family, from my friends, my work, um, and, and all things that I do. And, um, and it, it does take work, you know, it does, it doesn't come, it's not gifted to you just like this. Here it is because life brings challenges. And especially the past three years have been probably the most challenging years, uh, any one of us has ever encountered. Um, I, I, I even hate to mention the word, so I'm not going to, because I don't want to give it energy, but, I feel like there's a big shift occurring in our world right now. I feel like we all feel that uh, things are not going to be the same. Things are going to continue shifting and moving in, in, a, in a much different direction. But I think the one thing that we can hold on to and grasp is, is, this, is this frequency of vibrating at a place of love. And um it doesn't, it's not something that you can, you can grasp onto unless you've done some internal work. In the world of psychology, success is 80% what's going on internally, mental, your energy, your inner, your inner life inside, and then 20% of what you strategically do that's in alignment with this 80% of who you are. I think if you can figure out how to get that 80% in a place where it brings you joy it, and it, and you can tap into that divine purpose that you're here for, because every single one of us, every single one of us has an incredible divine purpose. And I think we get lost in the shuffle of that. Like, what am I here for? What am I doing? Someone just opening a practice like, oh, my gosh, all these decisions I have to make. It's like it feels so mundane. Uh, students towards the end of the school years, um, you, know, you have so much testing to take, so many decisions, so much money to output. Every th everything you do has absolute divine purpose. And if you are in alignment with who you are, your core values, and you love yourself enough to do the internal work to remove a lot of the obstacles that can come up, and I'll explain to you uh, in just a second what I mean by that, the 20%, which is the actual exterior action that you have to take in order to open up the office, in order to make those decisions, will come so much easier. Um, now, this is 30 years of experience. I can say that when I first opened up my practice in 1995, <laughs> so I'm dating myself just a little bit, um, it, was, it, was, uh, it was a lot easier than it is now, I will say that. But there was a lot of things that we did to open that weren't so congruent with how we wanted to practice. And that was because we did not do that, all those internal workings that we did in order to get us to a place, right? Uh, that we were like, okay, we're going to do this, but we're not going to do that. We're going to do this, but we're going to remove that. And one of the one of the first things I remember doing when I felt like some things were not right is I actually, this is so simple. I actually discontinued watching the news. The news was the first thing I used to watch for years. Um, first thing in the morning before I even got myself ready, before I work out. And it sets the wrong pace for your mindset. If you want to be someone in life that wants to be successful and wants to make a difference and, and an impact in this world, the last thing you need to do is watch the news. It's so depressing. It's so sad. It's so convoluted and destructive. And so I turned that off. So simple, right? But it made a huge difference. Mind shift. That's that internal mind shift. Then I started reading books that were in alignment with the kind of person that I wanted to become, the kind of chiropractor that I wanted to become. Right? I read more green books. I read more philosophy books. I would attend meetings and, and, and meet with people that had the mindset that I wanted to have. I did a lot of internal cleaning with my diet with um, eating foods that were not going to make me tired. And as of the past, actually three to four, four years, um, I just continued 
this is just for me. I just discontinued drinking alcohol. I felt that that was something for me that was not in congruency with where I want to go in my life. So these things that you remove and that you add can add or take away from the kind of life you want to create. And the kind of life you want to create is, is only done by you. There's no one that is going to give you and do for you more than yourself. Even in your marriage, you, you could have an incredible husband, incredible wife, but no one is going to give you and pour into you more than you. So you have to be willing to do that internal work. Also, another piece is um, healing past traumas. Uh, a lot of people come into my practice injured from um, just past things that have happened to them. And I'm, I'm certain it's, this is, I'm not the only one because we have all had injuries and traumas. And so got to look at that stuff and heal it and really look at it. You can't, you can't uh, ignore it. You can't walk away from it. And one of the reasons for that is because you will have people that will come into your practice that will remind you of those injuries, of those traumas. And if you don't heal those from within yourself, those traumas will come back to haunt you in the people that walk in through your office. We are each other's mirrors. We attract to us what is still hidden inside of us. Um, and I would have never said that first or second year in practice, never, never, would have never known. Two, three years in practice, all of a sudden I'm starting to see people that like trigger me. I'm like, well, why? And it happened to be with certain specific things that have happened to me in my past that I had not dealt with, that I had not looked at, it, had not healed. When you heal these things and you put those, those things in the right perspective, you can enrich your life and, and your life becomes so much, so much more full, filled with that love. And you can actually really love those people that are come in that are injured, not just from a subluxation, but actually love them from where they're at and actually help them heal and become better humans. And I mean, basically that's what we're here for. Right. Um, so it's, uh, it, it's, it's a journey. It's an incredible journey that we take and, and our divine purpose is, is filled with so many avenues of how to get to, how to get there, you know? Um, yeah, it's, it's been an incredible journey for me and, and creating a life that you love is a choice that you make every single day. Get up in the morning and create a ritual for yourself, uh, a morning ritual that fills your soul. And everybody's so different. You know, people pull out their Bibles and read or make a gratitude list or do some breath work. Um, take a cold plunge. That's a really trendy these days. A lot of people do that. I have not dived into that, but I, I really do enjoy doing that. Um, working out, breath work, meditation, um, getting your mindset and your body and coherence with the kind of service that you want to provide. You want to help people change your lives. Well, you have to be the beacon, the beacon of light. And you can only do that if you've done this internal work. And actually, that's actually lifelong work. <laughs> it never ends. There's many layers that go through, right? Don't we all have, you know, multiple layers that we have in our life that to go through and, and many seasons that we have to go through. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's see. What else do I have for you? And, um, and Patty, can, can yeah. you hear me? Okay. I can. Um, yeah. You know, I seasons is true because you know i i've always been a big um believer in morning daily rituals morning routines um in fact it's one of the things that i look forward to the most in my day is my morning routine um but as i have different things going on in my life or different seasons that i'm going through my morning rituals change as well so it's not like the same thing all the all the time no because seasons, you know, you, you're going, you're, you do different things in your 20s than you do in your 30s, than you do in your 40s and 50s. Um, 
and and you know at your age now in the next 10 years your whole ritual will completely change but you have to continue to continue to do this internal work in order to keep us where we need to be and that's above 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 average for people because our, our world our world needs us our yeah. world is really 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 sick it's gotten worse um but we are beacons of light for a lot of people and and they don't know it yet and this is why this internal work that needs to get done you have to you have to become that that which people need and seek and you can't be broken you can't be ill you can't be broken you can't be tired you have to be at your best and that requires work dedication and work yeah <clears throat> yeah um you know and i i see you know also going back if you guys were here a little bit earlier um patty you were talking about um healing past traumas and uh -huh. one of the one of the things that i do um in addition to practice is i help or i mentor chiropractors who are opening practices and um so often i'll ask them you know, they won't want to do something um whether it be they won't want to like do a spinal screening or they won't want to do like a radio show or something like that and i ask them why and almost a hundred percent of the time there is something that happened in their past that is holding them back in their present and if they were to just let that go like their whole world would just open up their whole practice would just blossom because they're doing everything correctly already they're doing every they're they're doing all of the right things but they're still allowing things that had happened in the past to hold them back so uh incredible that you said that because our practice reflects who you are and what's going on internally when i am on point and things are flowing you're living in that flow state mm -hmm. and you are uh unlined um people just show up out of the woodworks you get new patients new patients call and you're not doing it for the money you're doing it for the for the love of service yes um, and it really is so much about what's going on right here, you know, and those traumas actually will stop people from having a fantastic, really beautiful life. You've got to do the work, reach out to somebody who's already done the work, reach out to a, a friends, you know, um, whatever, whatever the case may be that ne you need. Um, but you, you've got to heal the wounds, the childhood stuff. Nobody talks about it. It's like this big white elephant in the room. We're, we've all been traumatized somehow. It's not done on purpose. It's just, it's just what happens our life, you know, life happens to all of us. Right. Um, but if you're not willing to, to look at it, it's going to continue coming up for you until, until you do. Um, but when you do that, your life clears up, energy changes, the frequency in your whole life changes and things unfold, synchronicities start to occur. Um, uh, life just opens up when, when you just allow yourself to embrace love and heal and, and be that great chiropractor. There's so many amazing chiropractors. And I tell you right now, there couldn't be a better time in the history of our world to be a chiropractor than right now. Right now, we we are we could take this whole thing and run with it and become the the doctors for the future for for all. So many more people are coming to us because they're tired of the medical system. And I don't want to put the medical system down. That's not what I'm here for. It's just that it's sick based. We know this. We understand how that works. We're health based. We're vibrancy based. We want to turn life on. And the clearer you are, a clearer vessel that you are for those people that are coming to you, the better you can do, the better, the better life. I mean, you, you will live, be living your divine purpose. Yes. 
Can you do you want to talk? Can you talk a little bit about um, divine purpose? Mm. I mean, I think that's that's key. And um, so many times, as one of the exercises that we do when we're creating clar clarity and a vision for a person's practice is, I ask. Is that's that's one of the questions that I ask them. I say, "What do you believe your soul's purpose or your divine purpose is?" And there's a lot of people that don't especially newer newer chiropractors or people that are newer in practice they don't even they don't know what that is so can you talk about that a little bit I definitely can actually I'm going to go back back to when I was 22 years old and I was uh sitting at a chiropractic meeting for the very first time in my life my my home um chiropractor sent me to Dynamic Essentials, and I was not in chiropractic school. I was uh, a patient of his, and he saw something in me and said, you need to go to this meeting. Um, you will love it. I was like, okay, I don't know. I'll go. I'll try it out. And at the time, this is Miami, and I'm sitting there listening, and there's couple thousand people there. This is way back when. And Dr. Sid Williams was the the one that ran everything. He was, you know, father of, of Life University and Dynamic Essentials. And he's up there talking and he's got a very thick Southern twang. So it was really difficult for me to understand. Mm -hmm. But I remember his key words about living a life of purpose. And I had never heard that at that time, at the age of 22. I had never heard anybody talk about having a sense of purpose. And that statement right there is what jolted something inside of me that made me want to go to chiropractic school. So I felt like there was a divine hand, a godly hand, divinity, you know, coming from Christ from God was in my ears um, because you get lost in service that way. But why that struck so hard for me is because at that time, I didn't know what I was doing with my, with my life. I, I didn't know why I, why I was going to school, why I was working. I was just kind of floating through life and um, just doing, you know, paying my bills, just doing, but doing whatever. And, and that whole statement changed my whole entire tra trajectory and gave me absolute purpose. And I feel like it came directly from God. Wow. So yeah, I really do. Um, I was on the, I was on my way to become an attorney. I can't imagine myself being an attorney. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Like, um, you would be loving on everybody <laughs> that would like be yes yeah exactly um but you know the reason why you were born purpose gives you a reason for being a reason for waking up a reason for doing everything you do creating a life that is meaningful that has value that creates and gives back to the community, gives back to humanity. I mean, we, everything we do is about giving back to enrich our world, make it a better place. You're born to make this world a better place. That's divine purpose. That's everything. Everything. You're here to make this a better world. Not just be, to get a job and get paid and go on vacations. Vacations are great. I love vacations. Mm -hmm. But there's a higher purpose to why you chose or chiropractic chose you. You know? You're here to do God's work. Amen. Connect man, the spiritual, with man, the physical. We're here to connect, make that connection so that we are one with our, our source God. There is, I think, there is nothing more valuable, more enriching, more amazing than that. I mean, who could not love their life with that? 
So everything you do and everything you choose is about going towards that trajectory, making that purpose filled rich with divine purpose. Everything you do, everything you say, all your interactions, all your relationships, and the most most important relationship is the one that you have with yourself. Love this temple that God gave you. You know? Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So and that's you know, me. <laughs> that sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's okay. But as you're talking, you know, I'm thinking that's what gets us through, you know, that's what gets us through the fear. And when, you know, that's what gets us through when the poop hits the fan, right? Yeah. Um, because the poop's going to hit the fan. <laughs> poop, has, poop has hit the fan for me quite a few times. Oh, nearly every day in practice, some, you know, something happens and, and just keeping, you know, keeping focused and keeping your eye on your soul's purpose and, um, and really making a, a conscious moment to moment effort of remembering your why. Yes. Tapping into every day, looking at your, your gratitude list and your why and, 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 and your purpose. I mean, keep, keep re every, every new year, I look at my, my mission statement, my vision, my purpose and it just do I need to refine it do I need to redo it do I need to look at it and 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 put that in your forefront I mean you have to be diligent with this because the world will beat down on you every moment that it can every moment that it can and you have to be so diligently strong so this profession is not for the weak oh it is not it is for the warrior the one that loves humanity, loves what we we stand for, and you have to, I hate saying going to war every day because you really don't, but you do. <laughs> um, I say go to love. Go to love, go to love yourself, love, put love, pour love into all that you do in your life, pour love into your patience. They'll refer, they'll come back. You'll make better decisions. Um, finding uh, with the right alignment, with the right strategies, with the right coaches, if, if necessary, with um, the right protocols, the right procedures. All those things fall into place. All of it. It doesn't even have to be perfect, right? You keep working on and, and move and improving but you got to be right with yourself and you always remember every single day why you get up, you know, your love, your love for this, this profession and hum humanity has to be bigger than the obstacles that you will face every single day, much bigger, way That's bigger. Exactly. That's exactly right. Yeah. People probably ask you this question all the time as well, but people often say, you know, like, like, how do you, how do you do it all? Like, how do, you're a mom, you, you run a practice, uh, now you, you coach, you do this, you do that. How do you do it? And that's how I do it. I love humanity so much. I don't even know where I got this from. It's like, it's just, it's innate. I just yes. love humanity yeah. so much that I just do what I have to do to serve. And when I'm tired or I've had a number of things that, you know, have gone wrong. And when I'm weary and worn out, that's what gets me through is I say, you know what, all I need to do today is I need to just show up to my practice. I need to love my people and I just need to serve them. And that's, that's it. That's it. Like, that's what gets me through. And people, people love it. And I usually, it's usually on those days that I actually end up seeing the most amount of people because it's just, you know, people are, people want to be in love. Yes. People want to be taken care of. People want to be heard. People want to be acknowledged. People want to not only just feel good, but also um, connect, connect to someone that cares about them, mm -hmm. connect that places value in who they are as a human. 
Um, and that's what we do with, with our hearts, with our hands, with our attention, with our presence. Presence is so important to be with one-on-one -on -one with someone and just be there for them. It's, it's really trans life changing and life transforming. I love it. I really do. 30 years in, I can't believe it. Hard to, hard to think back that it's been 30 years since I've, I've um, been doing this and um, there have been moments that have been hard, but all in all, love it. Love, love. Awesome. <laughs> that is awesome. And yes. what an appropriate word for such an amazing day today on Valentine's Day. It's the only word every day. <laughs> Amen, sister. It's so, always. So, Patty, we're we're rounding up to right around a half hour. Um, is there anything else that you want to share um, to our audience today? In a world right now. Uh, I would say that I would like to tell you that you have to lean in full faith with all your heart. There's no room for fear, not where we're going. There's no room for um, roadblocks. There's, there's, only, there's only one way and it's up and lean in full faith, full heart, love yourself, clean yourself up um, and Go do your divine purpose. You're here for it. Amen. All righty, guys. Well, we're going to wrap up our Wednesday workshop. Patty, thank you, 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 thank you for spending this time with us today. <laughs> I and, for, and thanks for sharing um, your truth and your heart with us. That was amazing. One of the reasons I got to be totally transparent. One of the reasons why I do this is because I, guys, I get filled up from spending time with people like Patty in our profession, just as much as you guys do. So, so mm -hmm. thank you for filling my cup as well, Patty. Oh, you're so welcome. My heart from my heart to yours. Have a beautiful mm -hmm. Valentine's day. Ah, uh, you too. Thank you. All right, everybody. We'll see you next week on our Wednesday workshop. Hopefully you guys got this live. It looks like it was live to me. So. Amen. Uh, the technology worked. <laughs> all right. Have a great day. All righty.